So in this tutorial we're going to see how to create a motion tween along a path that you've drawn. So um, similar techniques to before but this time um, rather than moving in a sort of straight line you can have um, the object follow a path. So we're going to do a lot of the same things to start with, create a new file. This time I'm going to use a graphic I've copied from the internet pasted into fireworks and I've just got rid of the white background. Now I can copy that B, go over to flash and go to edit and paste. Um, single flattened bitmap is fine and then use the free transform tool just to scale it to an appropriate size. Okay and there we go we'll move him to a starting point. Now it's really important um, to convert him to a symbol so we make him a graphic, we call him gr underscore b okay, so it's simply a right clock convert to symbol and then we're going to create a new layer in the timeline so looking down at the bottom of the timeline button left click on that new layer button and making sure that that empty layer is selected we're going to use the pencil tool here to draw the line that the bee is going to follow so if I just imagine that he's going to go up there bounce down to the bottom go around do a loop the loop and then end up in that bottom right hand corner now I've just done a little bit at the end that I just want to get rid of no problem use drawing tools to do that um, I can even select this path and you know move a little bits around but we'll see you can sort of uh, play around with that to your heart's content and there's your line so what we need to do now is to make sure that we just select that layer we've got that line selected and actually you're going to cut that from the whole scene so now layer 2 is empty again in layer 1 we're going to create a motion tween so you're going to right click on that keyframe create motion tween and I want it to last a little bit longer than a second so I'm just going to drag the edge so move to the end of that tween and then drag it so that it's let's say three or four seconds long okay and now with that tween selected I'm going to go to edit and paste in place so it's going to paste that motion path exactly where it was and we can see that B now he's going to follow that motion path now another clever little thing with the tween selected I can also, I mean I can add a rotation or two so let's say I wanted him to rotate three times, it would be very odd looking but it sort of work but what I can also do is instead tick this orient to path so now with that tween selected, orient to path so now It looks a little bit odd, but what we need to do is to make sure that the B is pointing in the right direction to start with. So back to the transform tool, just rotate him so he's pointing in the direction. So now when I preview that, you can see he sort of follows the path that we're looking at. Although you can see that line now when you preview the movie, control enter, you don't see that line, you just see the bee doing the path. So that's um, doing a motion path that you've drawn.